welcome to this week's community forum. Joining us, we have Jill Moorefield, who's the director of Beckley Events. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, tell me a little bit about the background of Beckley Events for our viewers who, who don't know everything that's going on, because I know you have okay. a lot We do lot have ready. a lot going on. <laughs> um, Beckley Events is actually a part of the City of Beckley Parks and Recreation Department. Um, We've gone by a lot of different names throughout the years. Um, we were Beckley Main Street for about uh, a dozen years, um, and then we were Beckley Renaissance. Um, um, I've always, most of the time, been fortunate to be a uh, employee of the city of Beckley, and we had a, a separate nonprofit, but now we just serve underneath the Parks and Recreation Department of the city of Beckley. We also have this awesome committee of community members um, throughout the community that come out and help plan events and um, work the events. Um, we work with all of the different city departments. Um, we also have a youth council of, of young folks that come out and help and we're hoping to train the next generation so these events will continue. Awesome, and what was it initially that brought you into Beckley events? Uh, well, I was, I was a, a program manager for the Beckley Main Street program. I had uh, worked from the convention center and, and worked for a number of years with, with uh, Beckley Main Street and Renaissance, and we just decided the events were, were our strong point, mm -hmm. and that's, uh, so that's what we kept doing, although now we're, we're doing a little bit uh, working with uh, the Downtown Business Association and their public arts and doing some art projects too, so um, lots of good things going on in Beckley. It's going to be a really good year. Oh, great. So tell me, speaking of all these events, what do we have coming up first? Okay, this is May, and so um, last year we brought back the Rhododendron Festival. Mm -hmm. um, the Rhododendron Festival uh, went on in Beckley back in the 90s mm -hmm. uh, for a number of years. The Beckley Junior Women's Club had organized it, um, and then we haven't had a Junior Women's Club for a number of years. We still have a Women's Club, but not Juniors. And um, our committee decided that we needed to have a spring festival. Um, we have the Appalachian Festival and Kids Festival and Chili Night, and Rocket Boys, all in the you know the fall months. Right. We needed to have something in the spring, mm -hmm. so we decided to bring the Rhododendron Festival back and celebrate the state flower, and package a lot of events that have been going on for years, but also add some Rhododendron theme uh, events as well to make it a. It's like a two-week festival, so it kicks oh, off great. coming up on May the thirteenth. Okay. Saturday with sweet treats. Now we've been doing sweet treats for about 11 years. Um, it's a, like a little mini dessert festival. Oh, everybody um, loves this. Yeah, <laughs> and a few years ago we teamed up, started teaming up with the Raleigh County Schools Day of the Arts. So mm -hmm. they wanted to have a day where a lot of the students come out and perform and we thought it was, it just ended up being a great natural tie-in together. So we've been working together for a number of years. Um, Sweet Treats has moved around a lot to different locations. Um, the last few years we've been at the Beckley Intermodal Gateway. If the weather's nice, we're up on top of the plaza. If, oh, if nice. it rains, we move down to the bottom level, the transit level. Um, we're praying that we have a great, great weather mm -hmm. and we can have it on the plaza because we're also adding this year the Southern West Virginia Preparedness Partnership Fair. Oh, um, very nice. They did it last year at a different location, and we just decided it would be better to work together and, and just make one bigger bigger event. So um, we'll have a number of their uh, different groups there from the fire safety house, and uh, uh, I think they've got a new mascot for the 911 center, and they'll have a number of booths. And then we've got 17 dessert vendors that will be there for wow. the, the sweet treats part. And how it works is for $5, you get five sample tickets and a People's Choice voting coin. Okay. And um, so, and I can also give you a list of, of who's performing that day, because that's sure. really the stars as the young people were so excited. Mm -hmm. um, beginning at 11 o'clock, we have Woodrow Wilson High School's Jazz Band. Um, then at 11.30, Park Middle School's Band. At noon, the Cole City Elementary Chorus will be there. And at 12.30, the Beckley Music and Drama Troupe will be performing. At 1 o'clock, Woodrow Wilson High School's Chorus. At 1.30, Glenwood Middle School Band. And then at 2 o'clock, the Park Middle School Choir. Oh, that's so, so fun. That's yeah. perfect for the whole family. Yeah, yeah, so they can come out and they, they can enjoy what's going on with their kids performing, if they want to buy some treats. We do have some healthy things. We'll have some fruit and things <laughs> like that, too. And some other vendors will do have, like, lunch items there. Mm -hmm. um, and then they can also go around and learn about uh, preparing for emergencies mm -hmm. and maybe get a, you know, a free packet of, 
of information from that. So, um, and we'll probably have cornhole and different things set there up for the go. kids to do. So we'll, it'll so be all a, ages. But yeah, you it'll got be everybody a, covered. Yeah, I think so. That'll and you good. said only five dollars for five sample tickets. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you don't want that, that, you can just come out and enjoy the free music and you know visit the booths. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of them are going to be going doing door prizes. Um, so it'll be it'll be a wonderful time, and, and some of that different foods. Let's see what some of the food if people are interested in what the desserts are. Of course, um, we're always interested. In we've food. got <laughs> brownies, cookies, fruit, fudge, gourmet apples, cream horns, cobbler, berry and cinnamon biscuits, sweet potato pie, oh, pretzel man. buttons, strawberry shortcake, donut holes popcorn pops, <laughs> Rice Krispie treats, snow cones, tea, and coffee. Well, I think you just hooked yeah. everyone who's watching. <laughs> I hope so. I Those hope are so. like on everyone's top list. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and so, you know, like I say, you can get the sample, and then a lot of times those booths are selling bigger portions if you, you want to take, take some home. home. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. And that's all taking place during the Road Dungeon Festival. I'll let you put those dates. All right, that's, uh, that's Saturday, May the 13th. The music starts at 11, okay. and the dessert tasting starts at 11.30. Everything runs till about 2.30. Okay, great. So you know, be sure and come to the Beckley Intermodal Gateway for that. Um, also, uh, the Downtown Business Association um, is uh, maybe have some pop-up shops over at Ward Park, which is just right across the road there. So there'll be lots lots going on. Um, some of the other things going on at the Rhododendron Festival, um, the, there'll be a uh, coloring contest at the Raleigh County Library. So right. go and get your ready dinner into color and <laughs> that will be the whole month of May. Okay. Um, Active Southern West Virginia is going to be doing a Facebook photo contest so if you're out walking a trail and you can catch a good picture of a rhododendron or you being active with a rhododendron, you know, beside a <laughs> rhododendron, uh, we invite you to do that uh, through the Facebook page. We have a Beckley Events Facebook page and we've also set one up for the Rhododendron Festival, a special event page. Um, Perfect. And then um, We'll have um, a rhododendron planting uh, by our beautification commission. They plant a rhododendron bush every year. Um, last year, uh, Independence Middle School students in the Downtown Business Association uh, worked on the rhododendron mural by the Y. Um, we're hoping to continue on the other side of that. We've got some grant money from BAF and uh, possibly Concord's already uh, primed the wall, so we might be doing some wildflowers on there as well as Independence Middle School is painting an active fitness one down right beside the Y. So there will be lots of art projects with that. Um, our Fridays in the Park kickoff on May the 19th. So the 19th and the 26th will both be part of the Rhododendron Festival. Okay. Um, 110 Marshall is going to be hosting a painting class. That's one where you can come out and you have an instructor show you step by step how to paint a rhododendron, oh, and it's a lot of fun. That is they a have, lot of fun. Usually have have food and music and and it's it's a uh, it's a really good thing um, there's like two different sizes you can do like a 16 by 20 is $35 and a 12 by 16 is only $30 so oh, nice. that'll be at 110 Marshall on Friday mm -hmm. May the 19th that evening um, on Saturday May the 20th the Shade Tree Car Club has their show mm -hmm. uh, going on their season starts out at the Plaza McDonald's that's from 1 to 5 um, and then our Woman's Club of Beckley will be hosting a murder mystery at their clubhouse. And it's um, Murder on the Oriental Rug is, is the name of it. It's an Agatha Christie spoof. And it's, uh, like I said, it's a murder mystery. It's $30 a person or $50 a couple. Oh, that's so a that fun night be. out. Yeah, it'd be great, great. And then on the Sunday, um, we encourage people to go out to Grandview Park mm -hmm. and view the rhododendrons. We uh, have actually have a park ranger that will got, can take people on a one-mile walk uh, beginning at 3 o'clock on Sunday the 21st. Of course, you can go out to Grandview anytime mm -hmm. and view the rhododendrons this time of year. They're beautiful. beautiful. And um, <clears throat> walk the trails. So that's Very kind nice. of the first first half okay. of the Rhododendron Festival. Um, There's a lot going on. Yeah, and um, we, we try to, like I say, incorporate some things that's already going on. The Beckley Art Center will have a new mm -hmm. exhibit um, opening up on May the uh, 24th. Okay. Um, we have another Friday in the park. The first Friday in the park on the 19th will be clo uh, featuring Chloe Florence, a great young, young person that will be singing. And then on May the 26th, we've got Heaven's Harmony. Okay. Um, and then Saturday, May the 27th, 
is the opening weekend for all the parks and pools in the, in the community. Oh, um, New River Pool, hopefully, if we get some lifeguards, mm -hmm. um, we'll be able to open. I know Leslie Baker, our Parks and Recreation Director, will be here with you next week. So Wonderful. you have an update on that. Okay. Um, we have the Beckley Open Tennis Tournament. Um, and we try to include the activities at Lake Stevens. There's like Flash Park and Aqua Park and Beach area will probably be open and then. Um, we also have Founders Day at Wildwood House Museum, and that is the home of, that was General Alfred Beckley's home, which is the founder of Beckley. Oh. And it's located uh, right off of South Kanawha Street. And uh, Founders Day starts out with a ceremony, and we have tours of the house and refreshments, and sometimes a cannon out front and, mm -hmm. and uh, some reenactors. And uh, so it's great to learn about the history of, of Beckley. And uh, of course, it's not open all the time. They have, uh, you know, you can go there for or request a special tour. Um, but this is a day that everybody comes out. And so that's Saturday, May the 27th from 11 to 3. And then that evening, uh, will be our Rota Boogie car and bike show. Last year we just did a little Rota Boogie uh, dance and we decided that we would add a, a car and bike show to it this year. It'll be at the Beckley Intermodal Gateway from 5 to 8 p.m. and okay. we have music by Dave Runyon and friends and so we invite everybody out to that and that's Sunday, you know, take your Sunday drive out to Grandview there again and get your pictures. The last day to submit for the Facebook contest okay. and, and that kind of wraps everything up by Memorial Day. That's awesome. That's a perfect way to just kick off the summer. Yeah. Go right through <laughs> just, spring. Just we have some good weather. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It should yeah. hopefully stay. Yeah. Keep warming up. Hope so. But that's great. You have the pools, tons of music, tons yeah, of food. Of mm -hmm. How has it been just partnering with different businesses and and sponsors in the community to get this all together? Oh, it's awesome. Like I said, we've been doing sweet treats for a while. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have some new ones this year, uh, vendors-wise, and we, of course we still have some that, that's done it for years. So um, everything from um, the Beckley Exhibition Coal Mine and their fudge to um, the Woman's Club. Um, new, new this year we've got Bojangles and also the First Christian Church Women's Fellowship. Um, Jan Care Ambulance has done it for years. <clears throat> McDonald's and they're teaming up with the Pottery Place, they'll be there. Another new one this year is Mize Law Firm. We have the Mountain State Centers for Independent Living, Operation Underdog, Parties food, Party Foods. We have Queen's Table, Raleigh County Community Action, Sticky Fingers Apples, Texas Steakhouse and Saloon. Uh, another new uh, vendor, Tea Time, offer different types of teas and lemonades, and the Bake Shop, and of course, Tea and Away of Southern West Virginia. So that's some of the vendors that we have for sweet treats. And uh, then, like I said, the Southern West Virginia Preparedness Partner Group is doing a, uh, is, is gathering up some of their, their booths. I don't have that list in front mm -hmm. of me, but um, I'm sure it's gonna be, gonna be a great day. Yes, Beckley Events has plenty for everyone. We're gonna take a quick break, but be sure to stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Community Forum. If you're just joining us, we have Jill Moorefield, who's the director with Beckley Events. Thank you again for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, we were just talking about all of the events that Beckley Events has planned, especially the Rhododendron Festival, and you have to tell us about the um, West Virginia Project, Try This. The Try This West that. Virginia Project. Um, Christine Kinder with the Downtown Business Association, and she's also our an extension agent for community development for Raleigh County, um, wrote the grant last year to get some, some funds from the Try This West Virginia group, and um, we've been doing a number of public art projects. Um, uh, I don't know if anybody's noticed, recently on the McManus Trail, there's a shelter on Eisenhower Drive that um, we created a, a bicycle arch. It's got four bicycles and a skate board on it and it says McManus Trail, it's kind of like the trailhead mm -hmm. for that uh, trail that goes through town. And uh, we had help from um, Arnold Bolin with Max Toy Funds. Um, they, they, he donated some bikes and, and wheels that they weren't able mm -hmm. to use for that. And then we had uh, a Boy Scout Troop 16 out of Shady Spring that helped us uh, bolt things together or, or take things apart, whatever we okay. needed, helped us paint some, and, and Christine and I painted, and then we had our public works department, um, especially Steve Fry with the, is a um, welder. He welded the, the brackets for the 
the uh, arch to go up and it took several of the men to help put, put it up and <laughs> get it bolted on so we hope people will see that. We've also done several of the bike rims that we painted and made them look like little flowers and they're Aww. attached to the signage at the intersections of um, where the trail crosses at uh, Canala and Prince Street so far. There'll be another one at uh, City Central Avenue area and then uh, we've got several bike racks planned. The, the Boy Scouts uh, put four, five rings together and painted them in the colors of the Olympic rings Aww. and that will go with the bike rack at the New River Park pool. And we've also got um, one that will go up at Ward Park and then some trellises. Um, so it's been a fun project. You know, a lot of different communities have their little public art thing. Ours mm -hmm. right now has been the bicycles and the bicycle wheels and we hope to continue that as well as doing some of the murals. So that's been that's been a fun thing, a yeah. little bit different from events that I've uh, enjoyed working on. Definitely, it just spruces things up and gives a little character I hope so. to those trails. <laughs> I hope so. Make encourage people to be more a little more fitness oriented. Right. And, and of course, that Try This West Virginia is a great uh, movement. Um, they have another uh, conference coming up on June the 3rd. If anybody would be interested, go to it and get all kinds of ideas of trying to make your community more healthy. And then you can also apply for these mini grants. And are there volunteer opportunities available with projects like these? Can anybody join Oh yes, in? definitely. Yeah, because we've been using um, different schools to help with the mural projects and of course different scout troops working on on some of the bike art, yeah, we would we want it to take off and people to be a part of it. We think that there's there's more buy-in if you've got the community doing the grassroots efforts as opposed to just somebody you know coming in and doing it. We we want the community to say, hey, I worked on that. Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of pride in that. Oh, we'll, that's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. Well, definitely, anyone who's watching who wants to get involved, they can just contact you on Facebook or me or or Christine Kinder. She okay. is with the. Um, um, New River Gorge Development Authority as their community extension agent for Raleigh County. But like I say, from Facebook, we can we can connect. Pair you up. Yep. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> so tell me, I know we went over the Rhododendron Festival, which we'll touch back on in a minute, but we have more events coming up through the summer, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I mentioned, the Fridays in the Park. Mm -hmm. They're uh, every Friday beginning on May the 18th at Ward Park from 1130 to 1, weather permitting. Mm -hmm. um, we have a variety of different, different performers throughout the from gospel and country and <clears throat> a little bit of old rock and roll and there you uh, go. Uh, one week that I'm really excited about will be June the 21st. We have the National Boy Scout Jamboree Band because the Jamboree has their own band and we right. had them the last time they were here. And so they'll be back <clears throat> on July the 21st. They'll be performing at Fridays in the Park. And the second, the last part of that will also be uh, Theater West Virginia uh, performing some songs from the Jungle Book. So. We have them this summer, and we have one day that's just a dance day. We have different dance groups come out. Um, we have a little bit of jazz, a little bit of bluegrass. I mean, we've got something all summer long, so um, just uh, come on out and enjoy that. We usually have several food vendors up so you can get your lunch and enjoy some free entertainment. Perfect way to end the work week, get outdoors. Yeah. See everybody mm -hmm. in your community who you may not see that's right. regularly. It's a great social uh, activity to come out sure. on. Friday at lunch hour and mm -hmm. uh, enjoy the park. Wonderful. What other events do we have coming up? <clears throat> okay, we've got in June um, and July, we decided this year with our car shows that we would have them on the last Saturday of the month, May, June, and July. So the Rota Boogie car show will be May the 27th. Our annual motorcycle and car show will be June the 24th, mm -hmm. and we actually have an Elvis impersonator mm -hmm. for that one. You need to have that. <laughs> <laughs> that goes hand in hand. Excuse me. <coughs> and then on um, July the 29th, we'll have our Beckley Cruise in car and bike show that mm -hmm. night. So um, the June and July ones, they were along the street, where the May one will be at the Beckley Intermodal Gateway. We've got those three car show. Okay. <clears throat> we'll also be working on the um, Taste of Beckley, which is part of the Appalachian Festival, which mm -hmm. will be on August the 26th. And we'll have music by the New River Jazz Band, Randy Gilkey, and Long Point String Band. So good stuff for that. Yeah. <clears throat> and all summer long, we also work on Beckley's annual Kids Classic Festival, which will be mm -hmm. September the 2nd through the 11th. And the Uptown Kids Fair and Parade is on September the 9th. 
and that's all kinds of family activities and it's just a fun fun week of things to do in the community with your kids perfect and then our annual chili night is the first Saturday in October which this mm -hmm. year is the seventh um, and then we work with uh, the uh, youth museum to host the tailgate Halloween on October the 28th <clears throat> and then the American Legion hosts the Veterans Parade on November the 11th and then our annual Christmas Parade will be December the 2nd. We don't want to think that we don't want to we don't want to think that yeah. far ahead. <laughs> we want to think warm weather. Yeah. Stick with the warm months. <laughs> well there is definitely plenty going on in the warm months to get outside to go swimming. So much music. Yeah, we really, do really all of, spring and summer long. Yeah, <clears throat> from the Fridays in the park to the different um, groups, like I mentioned, we've got Dave Runyon for the May uh, car show. We've got an Elvis impersonator mm -hmm. for the June one, and then on July the 29th, we've got uh, Last Chance Band performing for that one. Awesome! And for our viewers who may be just tuning in now, we want to just t let them know about the Rhododendron Festival. Sure. One more time, a little. Sure. The Rhododendron Festival kicks off the next couple of weeks. It uh, starts out on May 13th with the Sweet Treats, um, and it's we pair up with the Raleigh County Schools Day of the Arts. They will have a lot of different uh, music groups performing. Um, also new this year, the Southern West Virginia Preparedness Fair will go on at the same time, and that's on May 13th from 11 o'clock. The music starts, 11.30, the dessert tasting starts, and it runs through 2.30. Um, also some pop-up shops over at Ward Park. Um, we've also got with the Red Dinner and Festival, Fridays in the Park kicking off May 19th. Um, a painting class that night at 110 Marshall. Uh, the Woman's Club will be doing their uh, murder mystery on May the 20th. Um, we encourage people to go out to Grandview on May 21st and walk yes. around and enjoy their beautiful rhododendrons. And take um, pictures. Right, take pictures and submit them for the contest on Facebook. Um, our Facebook page is just Beckley Events. Mm -hmm. um, we've also got one for the City of Beckley as well. Um, but the Beckley Events one is the one that, that's going to host the page for the Rhododendron. Um, and so there's several different hashtags. You can hashtag WV RotoFest17 or hashtag RotoPhotoWV or hashtag <laughs> West WV State Flower. And go. also Active Southern West Virginia because they're helping us put that on. Um, and then, of course, the weekend of May the 27th, Memorial Weekend, the parks and pool opens, the Founders Day at Wildwood House, um, that evening the Rota Boogie Car and Bike Show. Mm -hmm. And so lots going on with the Rota Dinner Festival a in May. A lot. Yeah. It's really something for the whole family. It's going to be a great week, great month, I should yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, kicking off very soon. Tell me, what has been just one of your favorite memories or, yeah, I would say memories about working with Beckley Events? Over oh, the years. Just, just seeing the events grow and just seeing, you know, like Kids Festival, the smiles on the kids' faces that they've, they've had a really good day and had a good time and, and uh, just all the involvement from the community. We have uh, some awesome volunteers that's been with us for years and some new ones, you know, kind of come and go. And then we've got the, the Youth Council. Um, we are taking applications for that. Um, they are due just any, any day now, and uh, so we hope that uh, we have some young people that uh, want to get involved and come to meetings and show up at events and help us register people or pick out their favorite car or <clears throat> whatever, you know, games we have for the kids that they can help us with. So uh, we just encourage uh, the community to get involved and show up and support all the events that's going on. And speaking of that, I know you mentioned a ton of different organizations that you already partner with. If there's businesses out there that are interested in coming aboard, oh yes, are there still opportunities? Oh to yes, do so? we could have um, we could use some more sponsors for our car shows, um, for taste, um, of course, chili night and kids festival. All these events, a lot of them, you know, there's booths set up with businesses and organizations and it really, if you just had one booth it wouldn't, wouldn't be a festival. <laughs> so we definitely need as, as many groups as possible. It's a great way to come out and have fun and to promote either your business or organization in a, in a positive, fun atmosphere. And so we encourage uh, people to get involved. And you really just get to know, like you said, everyone in the community. Get to know different businesses and different organizations, nonprofits that you may not have been even been aware of. That's right. You come out and uh, learn more about. You may decide you want to 
volunteer with one of the organizations or maybe there's a product out there you don't know about that, that uh, business can, it's a great way to kind of uh, do a little bit of guerrilla marketing and come out and uh, uh, showcase what they're doing. And it's so great speaking with you and other organizations um, while I've been here, everyone always emphasizes on how supportive the community is in Beckley. Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. We, uh, we've got a great community, and I think this is going to be a wonderful year from the events to the public art that we're planning, the cleanups that's been going around. Um, we're excited to have WVU Tech right there in, in town and all their students and what that's going to bring. And um, I think it's. I think there, you'll see some some improvements uptown. I mean, I know we're probably going to be, with the help of Beckley Area Foundation, replacing some benches and hopefully have a good project for that corner hole that's been there forever. And uh, so I think um, you're going to see the town get beautified and, and energized uh, this year. And I'm really excited. It's going to be a good year. Awesome. That's so great. It's so awesome. We have so much for all of the residents and people passing through to come and come out and just have fun. We hope so. We yes. hope that, that it's a place that people want to to live, work, play, and, and enjoy themselves and, and uh, that will grow and, and uh, <clears throat> people will be happy to be here. Definitely. And I want to let you put up your contact information one more time. You can share that with our viewers. Okay, sure. Um, my telephone number at the office is 304-256-1776. Real easy patriotic number to remember. <laughs> um, where uh, you can uh, reach reach us um, on uh, Facebook, either at Beckley Events or the City of Beckley. The City of Beckley's got a website up, and it's um, just uh, beckley.org, www.beckley.org. Um, go down, click on Beckley Events. It brings up all of our events. It brings up um, uh, different registration forms. Um, you can actually get the Road Dinner Festival brochure if you click on that section. So we try to keep keep that up to date and you can get a lot more information there and it'll have you know more of my contact information as well. Great. Well thank you so much for being thank here with you. us. And thank you for joining. Have a great rest of your weekend.